Um, when I was growing up, we had a lot of tarot near our old house and our new house. So there was an old house that was near the mango scene tree. And around that area, like behind that was tarot and tarot roots. And that's where we used to get a lot of our pig's food. And then over near um, our chocolate trees, there was a lot of tarot. And it became like this place that was like green because of all this tarot. And then we would, you know, eat that and um, uh, also cook that for our uh, plantation workers. So I just ended up eating a lot of that and I just ended up being like, okay, I just want to eat the chicken because <laughs> it itches my tongue a little bit. But now I kind of really miss that and miss the whole like chicken with like something starchy. Um, but yeah, um, I think, you know, um, ube is a, a cool thing to have and there's just something about ube ice cream though I don't like as much as mango ice cream or durian ice cream. Um, and so when I get mochi, my favorite thing is mango mochi versus green tea mochi versus other kinds of mochi. And when I do eat mochi, I feel like there's some, like it's too like heavy or starchy for an ice cream. Like if I want a mango ice cream, I prefer like a mango sorbet type thing. Um, but still, mochi is really, really yummy. Um, my other favorite Japanese dessert, let me see. I don't know if I have a lot of Japanese dessert that I really like. Oh, deep fried ice cream. Oh my gosh, Plum House used to have deep fried ice cream. So it would be ice cream with pound cake around it or some sort of cake around it. And then they deep fried it. They put, uh, put it into batter and then deep fry that and then cut it in half and then put chocolate, like drizzled chocolate. And to me, that was the best thing ever that um, Plumhouse used to have. And so I absolutely love that. Um, and also um, like, I think, oh, you know what? There's a restaurant here that has that. Um, it's a Mexican restaurant and it's called uh, Los Mariachis. I think I've had it there. So yeah, deep fried ice cream is a really, really cool dessert for me. And I don't know if it, that's specifically Japanese or it's also Mexican, but you know, um, that's another thing that I really like. So I have like high level Japanese food. I also have really high level Indian food. And the reason is because I used to work across from Tali of India in Rochester, New York. And I worked at Winton Village and I used to go there for lunch once in a while. And then once I moved to here, I used to get a lot of um, chicken, butter chicken curry from Rayleigh's and also chicken korma from Rayleigh's, um, the frozen ones. And I've just gotten all sorts of stuff and I've learned a lot about Indian food and I've had a lot of curry. I've even had um, black tea that's like India black tea like and steeped and then put with milk. Um, that was really yummy. Uh, I've also had um, uh, like palak paneer, like it's like green, it's like a spinach with like the cheese. Um, they have mango lassi, so, but I'm starting to try to get, to be aware of, okay, so I have like some sort of Asian like level, right? How Asian am I? And because they live in the Philippines, I'm very Asian and I've had a lot of Filipino food, but it's like how uh, savvy am I with Chinese food? With Chinese culture, a lot more savvy with Chinese culture than Japanese culture, I would say. But I'm starting to get more Japanese culture. Uh, what has made me Chinese culture savvy is a lot of uh, blockbuster movies um, and watching a lot of that and uh, borrowing those from Blockbuster and also buying them on iTunes, buying them on uh, Amazon. And so I'm pretty high level Chinese food as well. Um, Chinese culture, but not so much Chinese food because I always just get like egg roll and whatever vegetable thing they have and vegetable with meat and I never know what it is. Um, but now I'm trying to focus more on like Japanese, learning more about Japanese food, Japanese culture. Um, but yeah, you can level up in many ways in other kinds of culture by watching TV. Like for me, watching Filipino TV is key. Um, you know, looking at YouTube videos for like the Japanese food, 
um, Filipino food, uh, Chinese food, anything like that. Um, and when there are holidays, you know, try to blog post about it, acknowledge it, post about it, talk about it, and learn more about it. Um, that's the best way you're going to be able to level up your Japanese or Chinese or Mexican or Indian points. Um, and so, yeah, definitely a really cool thing to try to look into. So the other way I really leveled up Japanese-wise is when I worked for Tivana. So Tivana used to be a tea place in Rochester, New York, and also from going to Starbucks. Uh, today I had a green tea lemonade, um, but I've drank a lot of green tea. This is actually my own green tea, um, but earlier I had green tea lemonade with sweetener, um, but I've added water with just some green tea. But basically uh, from just drinking green tea lemonade, I feel like I've drank a lot of green tea. And then I drank a lot of Tazo tea green tea. Then a lot of jasmine tea, green tea. Then, um, like the bottle of green teas. Um, there's a jasmine and a green tea one that's, I think, I don't even know what the company is called, but it's in uh, Walmart and it's like in the Asian section. But Tivana has all sorts of different kinds of green tea. And um, I learned that some were more expensive than others and some were like ball pearls and some were more like little twisted tea things um so like it's like actually like long tea like um i don't know what it's called so let's see chinese tea leaves tivana let me see if i can find it because it's like the smoky kind of tea and i think it's twisted tea leaves is what it is and um that to me is uh, a really cool tea and just because I learned that it was really expensive. Um, when I went to Tivana, it was out and I think it's the monkey one. Monkey pick loose leaf oolong, that's the one. So I was thinking, I, I don't know how they make these. Tivana monkey picked loose leaf oolong and it's somehow like twisted and stuff. Um, so it's 150 for, I'm not sure how much amount. So it says, Tivana Monkey Pick Loose Leaf Oolong Tea. If you buy this, for whatever reason, it's $101.50. Wow, oh, I didn't even know that. But yeah, you can make a lot of oolong tea somehow and then, you know, try to sell that. But um, I also tried matcha green tea. So I've had matcha green tea and matcha uh, like type teas. So that's a really cool thing to try. Uh, I'm not a big fan of matcha, but it is pretty cool, especially if you add it like if you add milk and stuff, I think. I don't know how to make it like sweet and creamy, um, but you can do something like that. So um, yeah, that those are the ways I've leveled up my Japanese type points. And um, watching a lot, watching some Japanese movies and some uh, reading a Japanese book is actually how I've leveled up Japanese wise. And I also got stuck in Narita Airport. And then, well, I got stuck in Narita and then spent the night in Narita and then went back to the Narita airport early and got stuck in the airport. And so that helped me level up because then I was able to get actual real products from Japan. So when I flew to the Philippines, I got stuck in Narita. And then um, we had to stay in the Radisson in Narita. Then that night, I just went to sleep. Next day, I woke up early, went and had buffet, took the bus to the mall, looked around the mall, got pictures, then went back to the hotel, then went back to the airport, and once I got there, it was like, okay, so I'm gonna buy some stuff, but I can't really afford that much stuff, so I've got like um, a t-shirt, so a Hello Kitty t-shirt, um, pens, and then um, I think that's all. But like that's, I think my actual, actual Japanese products. And then I had Starbucks. That was really important, Starbucks 
caramel frappuccino. Um, so that's my favorite <laughs> drink from Starbucks. So yeah, oh, Ramune is the other one that I've leveled up somehow. Like I've tried some Ramune, Ramune or Ramune drinks. Um, watching tasty videos, watching um, that video where it's like, tr they tried $100 sushi or something, or they tried like, you know, gold something in their food and it was like, $500, I don't know, like the burger with like gold on top and it was like $200 for the burger. That show, I, I, think, I don't remember what it's called, but like if you type in like most expensive sushi, like it'll pop up. So that's another way that I've leveled up as far as like Japanese food knowledge. So anyway, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.